right, so we have everything ground up. Um, we're gonna be welding a lot of the holes that are in the uh, frame here, um, just because I'm gonna be here welding for a while, I might as well. Um, and then we'll grind those down, make it flat, make it look nice. Uh, in addition to that, because of um, because we're trying to make this cleaner and we basically also had to cut the pinch weld, I'm gonna be welding up all of these seams all the way around here, make sure that we still have the structure that we'd like. Um, and then I imagine we're also gonna do that notch today. Um, we're not able to get the plate that we need to do the strut tower, so for now, we're just gonna be welding everything up. Um, and then we have to grind down some of the stuff like around here in preparation for the plates um, that are gonna go up and, and to raise the strut tower. So, um, yep, that's about it. And basically it's gonna sit here and weld for a little bit and uh, clean this thing up. So as uh, expected, we messed this piece up. Also, we were using the wrong size die. It's the right size for this tubing, but I usually, with this kind of crappy bender, I use a smaller size die and it looks a lot better. So that's what we did here just to test it. And it looks 10 times better than this where it kind of kinks a little bit. So obviously that's stronger as well. Um, but yeah, this one's messed up. So we're gonna come back, fresh day, fresh heads, um, and we're going to remake this one and then hopefully not mess up on this one.
Alright, so we have this engine bay and kind of everything we want to do in here all fabbed up. Um, pretty much for the most part from here it's going to be cleaning stuff up um, and just making it look pretty at least for now. Um, I don't know how far we're going to take it right now to actually like the finished product with the painting and everything but really at least going to get it in primer so that way it doesn't rust or anything like that. Um, but as you saw we did the strut bar. We knew we were going to do that. I just I don't think we ended up filming a whole lot of it. Um, but yeah so basically this should be absolutely plenty strong enough for everything that we're going to be throwing at it. Um, the strut bar I know is not really like super useful but honestly it kind of looks cooler. We had the tubing and uh, honestly I think it looks sick. Uh, my welds I know are not amazing but uh, we know we have penetration because you could just see how hot everything got and we were really cranking it up and you know making sure we were cooking those welds in there so um, I'm pretty confident in everything. We did close the hood, we made sure that it cleared because obviously since the engine lift um, there might be a little complications with adding something on the top like a strut bar, um, but it does clear by about a like quarter inch so we have plenty of clearance all around. Um, we can move it around and lower it and do some other stuff if need be, but we shouldn't need that because it works. So um, basically this is where we're going to finish out this video. This honestly took quite a long time kind of figuring everything out, doing our designs. Um, did you ever show them? what we did with our cardboard so obviously we used our pattern made sure everything was going to fit up 100 percent you can see you know it's kind of the idea of everything we wanted to just make sure that uh, the concept was going to work on the car so um i'm i'm super super happy with the way it turned out i think that um this is definitely several steps beyond what anyone else has ever taken their their miata specifically um, especially with just trying to go lower um i know obviously people have tubed their front and stuff like that but to just purely get as low as possible this is the absolute extreme and then taking it to another level where um, we're actually making it look cool too so anyways guys that's about it for today's video if you want to check out some merchandise you want to help out james and his build he has his t-shirts out there and then i have mine as well anyways that's about it for today's video Peace out.